Vanchakalpantarubhischa Kripa Sindhu Paevacha Patitanam Bhavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namaho Namaha Ajano Lambitu Bhojo Kanakama Dato Sankirta Naipa Pitaro Kamalaya Taksa Vishwambaro Dvijabaro Yugadharma Falo Vande Jagapriyakaro Karuna Avataro Vande Shri Krishna Chaitanya Nityanando Sano Diro Guru Daya Pushpanvanto Chitta Sando Tamo Nudo Panchatattva Makam Krishnam Bhakta Rupa Sarupakam Bhakta Avatara Bhakta Kyam Namami Bhakta Shaktikam Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadar Sivasati Oda Bhakta Vindam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, we are here to uh, speak about and try to honor and go deeper into our, the mood of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy. Okupili smo se ovdje kako bismo pokušali govoriti o slaviti i uči dublje u milost gospodine Četanjem gospodina Četanje Mahaprabhua. Mahaprabhu's appearance in the world is both mysterious and very very much in the mood of complete mercy and compassion. Mahaprabhuova pojava u ovom svijetu je veoma misteriozna, ali također i prepuna milosti i suosjećanja. His mercy is something that is rarely achieved, but it's the complete mercy of the absolute truth. Njegova milost je nešto što se rijetko dostiže, ali to je potpuna milost apsolutne istine. Sri Krishna, the supreme personality of God and the absolute truth, the cause of all causes, principal existence of all life appears in different times throughout the history of mankind to show his mercy to the conditioned souls. Shri Krishna, svevišnja božanska osoba, apsolutna istina, uzrok svih uzroka, pojavljuje se u različitim trenucima povijesti kako bi ukazao svoju milost ljudskom rodu. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the manifestation of all the mercy that the Supreme Personality of God had ever, has ever given at one particular time. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu je manifestacija sve milosti koje je svevišnja božanska osoba ikada dala u jednom trenutku. We speak sometimes that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is an incarnation, but actually he is the source Ponekad kažemo da je Sri Čaitanja inkarnacija, ali on je zapravo izvor svih inkarnacija. As Krishna appears in different yugas in order to uplift the conditioned souls according to the rules applied to that process of worship in that yuga, Sri Čaitanya Mahaprabhu has dispensed with and eliminated all rules and regulations. Kao što se Krišna pojavljuje u svakom dobu kako bi uzdignuo ljude u skladu sa pravilima i procesima koji su propisani za to doba, Sri Čaitanja Mahaprabhu je uklonio sva pravila i propise. When we read in the Bhagavad Gita, after Krishna speaks the absolute truth in a very simplified form to Sri Arjun, he concludes his talk by saying, Sarvadharma parikshajam mam ekam saranam bhajam aham tvam sarvapape bhyam moksa yashyami ma sucha hai says surrender to me give up all ideas on how you can make advancement in spiritual life how you can make the process of devotion to me and just Surrender to me. I'll take care of you. I'll deliver you. There's no fear. There's no reason to hesitate. Kao što Krishna u Bhagavad Giti Arjuni objašnjava simplificiranu verziju istine, on kaže Sarva Darman Paritjađa, odnosno taj stih znači jednostavno se predaj meni, nemoj se ti brinuti o tome kako ćeš ti prakticirati neki proces. 
prenese meni, ja ću te zaštititi, ja ću te izbaviti. And as it was explained by historical evidence and by Krishna himself, very few people surrendered. I kao što objašnjavaju povijesni dokazi i sam Krishna, jako malo ljudi se zapravo preda. He made it too difficult. On je to učinio preteškim. Especially in this age. Posebno u ovom dobu. Because in this age, generally, we say the general population is not inclined to spiritual life. Jer obično se kaže da u ovom dobu ljudi općenito nisu skloni duhovnom životu. As the ages progress from Satya Yuga to Treta Yuga to Pura Yuga and Kali Yuga, the qualifications and the abilities for people to practice spiritual life becomes less and less and less. Kako se juge mijenjaju od satja preko treta, dva para i kali juge, ljudi imaju sve manje sposobnosti i kvalifikacija da prakticiraju duhovni život. And Sri Krishna, he appeared at the end of the para yuga. Sri Krishna se pojavljuje na kraju dva para juge. And he made that declaration. I on je to rekao. After explaining the science of bhakti to Arjun, he said, now there's no other choice, surrender. Nakon što je objasnio znanost o bhakti yogi Arjuni, on je rekao, nemaš drugog izbora, predaj se. Ali ljudima se to nije sviđalo. Preteško. On je to previše otežao. To nije moguće. I zato je jako malo ljudi, ako uopće itko, shvatio Krišnu ozbiljno. So that same Krišna reappears in a different form in the following age, which is the age we live in now, it's called Kali Yuga. I zato se Krišna pojavljao u drugom obliku u idućem dobu, ovom dobu u kojem živimo sad, koje se zove Kali Yuga. And he doesn't come as God. I on nije došao kao Bog. He comes as the best devotee of God. On dolazi kao najbolji bhakta Boga. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahiyanya that the same Supreme Lord and His internal potency, the Ladini Shakti, the pleasure potency of the Lord, merges together into one and manifests Himself as the most merciful, magnanimous and most attractive form of the Lord, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gospodin se pojavio zajedno sa svojom unutrašnjom moći zadovoljstva hladini šakti i spojio se u jednu osobu koja je najvelikodušnija, najmilostivija i najprivlačnija osoba Sri Čaitanja Mahaprabhu. And he just says, don't worry about surrender, just chant the names of the Lord. I on kaže, nemojte se brinuti o predavanju, samo pjevajte imena gospodina. And when you feel happy, dance. I kad se osjećate sretno, plešite. And when you feel hungry, take foodstuffs offered to me in sanctified form, prasad, and your mind and heart will become purified. A kad ste gladni, uzmite hranu ponuđenu meni, prasadam, i vaš um i tijelo će se pročistiti. So, Lord Caitanya, He's Krishna himself, but he's in the mood of his own pure devotee, teaching from the position of a devotee, as Srila Prabhupada used to say. When the teacher takes the position of the student and teaches the student from that position, that is the best teaching. Znači, gospodin Četanja je sam Bog koji je prihvatio položaj bakte, i Prabhupad je često znao govoriti da kada učitelj prihvati položaj učenika, onda je to najbolji oblik poučavanja. So he summed up the process. We all know, chant Hare Krishna, when you feel happy, dance, even if you don't have feel happy, dance anyway and then you'll feel happy. I on je ovako rezimirao taj proces, pjevajte Hare Krišna i ako ste sretni plešite, ako niste sretni isto plešite jer ćete tad postati sretni. And instead of eating things that are made by people who have sinful consciousness, eat food that is offered to me in devotion, prepared with that mood of love and 
you enjoy the process of eating, you become purified by that process, and you make progress towards the goal of life. <laughs> I umjesto da jedete hranu koju su pripremili ljudi sa greš, grešnom svjesnošću, jedite hranu koju su pripremili ljudi sa, koji su posvećeni Bogu i kroz taj proces ćete se pročistiti i napredovati na putu prema Bogu. So that was the mercy of the Lord. So Prabhupada used to say, or Sila Prabhupada would say, you may be very intelligent, you may have many good as you know scholastical credits to your life you may have been known even by the general populace all right so you have all those abilities then apply that intelligence just to try to understand how merciful lord chaitanya is and he says you will never understand <laughs> to je velika milost i pravopad je običavao govoriti u redu vi ste jako učeni imate mnoge uh, kvalifikacije na svjetovnoj razini, ali probajte tu inteligenciju upotrijebiti da shvatite koliko je milostiv gospodin Čejtanja, nikad to nećete shvatiti. And the example, there's many examples in the life of Mahaprabhu, but the most prominent and the outstanding example is delivering these two most sinful persons, Jagai Madai. <laughs> Ima puno primjera, ali najistaknutiji je izbavljenje dviju grešnih osoba, Jagaja i Madaja. They were so sinful. Oni su bili tako grešni. There wasn't one sin they hadn't commit. There was one they didn't commit, but everything else they did. Postoje samo jedan grijeh koji nisu počinili, sve ostalo jesu. It's described in the scriptures that Yamaraj, the Lord of Death, who judges the conditioned souls who are sinful, he was asking his secretary, Chandragupta, who is head of all of the other uh, assistants, which calculate all of the sinful activities of the conditioned soul. What are the sins of Jagai and Madai? Opisano je da je Yamaraj, bog smrti koji sudi grešnim dušama, pitao svog tajnika Chandraguptu koji su grijesi Jagaja i Madaja. Chandragupta says, my dear master Yamaraj, we can't calculate. Chandra Gupta rekao, dragi moj gospodaru Yamaraj, ne možemo to izračunati. We have hired 30 new scribes to keep contact. They are months behind in keeping contact. Everyone is exhausted trying to keep up with the record of Jagai and Madai's sinful activities. <laughs> Uposlili smo 30 novih pisara da bi bilježili njihove grijehe i oni kasne mjesecima svi su iscrpljeni i niko ne može držati korakom korak s Jagajem i Madajem. They were the best of all sinful people. <laughs> oni su bili najbolji od svih grešnika. They have, you know, they were maha pap. <laughs> oni su bili maha grešnici. Yeah. And so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he's there in Navabhi, Dweep, and there Nityananda is there, and also Srila Haridas Thakur is there. So Mahaprabhu says to Nityananda, go out and try to make people understand the goal of life, teach them to chant Hare Krishna. U Navadvi po gospodin Čejtanja je poslao gospodina Nityanandu i Haridasa Thakuru da idu do ljudi i da ih nauče da pjevaju Hare Krishna. And Nityananda and, and uh, Haridas Thakur, they would go and they would knock on people's doors and they would say, Oh, Mahaprabhu, the Supreme Lord, he is here with the mercy that you are looking for. He's asking everyone, please chant the holy names of Krishna. You'll be happy, your life will be peaceful, and all your desires will be fulfilled. <laughs> Uh, I oni bi išli od vrata do vrata, kucali i kada bi im ljudi otvorili, oni bi rekli Mahaprabhu, svevišnja božanska osoba je ovdje i on želi da pjevate sveta imena. Vaš život će postati miran, postat ćete sretni i sve želje koje imaće, imate bit će zadovoljene. And people would say, oh, Nitai, that is so nice, but we are busy, we have our work, we have our families, we have no time to chant. I oni bi rekli, o, Nitaj, to je tako lijepo, ali mi smo zaposleni, imamo svoje obitelji, nemamo vremena mantrati. Nitaj wouldn't give up. 
he would put a straw in his teeth and beg them. Sometimes he would roll on the ground, please chant Hare Krishna, you'll be happy, you'll please the Lord. Ali nite nije htio odustati, uzeo bi slamku s poda i stavio je među zube, nekad bi se i valjao po podu i govorio, ali molim vas, pjevajte sve ta imena, bit ćete sretni. I kad bi vidjeli da se on tako ponaša, oni bi rekli, dobro, dobro, digni se, ajde, mantra ćemo. So, he was so determined to get as many people as possible to chant Hare Krishna. That's the mercy. Mm-hmm. On je bio tako odlučan da navede što, vi, što je više moguće ljudi da mantra Hare Krishna. To je so, milost. So they would spend the whole day going from house to house, just asking, begging people, please chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> I oni bi proveli cijeli dan idući od kuće do kuće i moleći ljude da mantraju Hare Krishna. And then Nityananda was thinking, hmm, Lord Chaitanya is here and he is giving the supreme mercy. We want to really glorify Lord Chaitanya's mercy. Who is those persons that are the most lowest, the most sinful? Let us try to give them this mercy. Nityananda je razmišljao, gospodin Četanja je ovdje i on je dao svoju ogromnu milost. Ajmo slaviti tu milost, veličinu njenu i ajmo dati tu milost onima koji su najniži, najpaliji, ajmo naći te osobe. So they talked to the townspeople, the townspeople said, oh, this is too, they're actually the sheriff in town. This is Madhavananda and Jagadananda. Oh, they are so nobody can even go near them. I oni su pričali sa mještanima, jel, i sa šerifom i pitali su ko, ko su najgrešniji, oni su rekli Madhavananda i Jagadananda. Niko im ne može ni prići. And Nityananda thought, ah, this is where we'll try to give them mercy. A Nityananda je mislio, a njima ćemo probati dati milost. So people pointed out so they went, they saw them and they were always Drunk. I ljudi su im pokazali tko su oni i oni su išli prema njima, a Džaga i Madaj su uvijek bili pijani. And they would be drinking really strong liquors and then they would swear at each other and punch each other and then drink some more. <laughs> I oni bi pili alkohol, žestinu, psovali jedan drug, tukli se i onda bi još pili. So Lord Nityananda, Haridas, they approached them. Gospodin Nityananda i Harida su im prišli. Nityananda from a distance. He said, "Hey, you two brothers." I Nityananda iz daljine rekao, "Hey, vas dvojica braće." Somebody's calling us. Neko nas zove. Who's that? Ko je to? It's me, Nityananda. To sam ja, Nityananda. Who are you? Ko si ti? I've come to give you special, special favor. Došao sam vam dati posebnu milost. Go away. Makti se. But The Supreme Lord has come with the holy name. Please chant Hare Krishna. Ali svevišnji gospodin je došao sa svetim imenom. Molim te mantraj Hare Krishna. Somebody I looked at Jagai. Get him. Mada je pogledao Jagai i kaže: "Drž ga." So he started running. I oni su počeli trčati. And Nityananda and Harida start running away. I Nityananda i Harida su počeli trč- bježati od njih. And these, you know, these guys are little kind of like, you know, wide in size. I ovi su bili malo onako širi. A i bili su pijani, pa nisu mogli baš brzo trčati. A Nityananda trči i smije se. On se uvijek smije, bez obzira što se događa. I don't know what will happen. <laughs> I Harida si rekao, mene su tukli na 22 tržnice i nekim čudom sam preživio, ali sad kad se družim s tobom, stvarno ne znam što će se dogoditi. And they both start laughing. <laughs> I onda su se obojica počeli smijati. And then they finished the day, they reported their scores to hunt the Lord Chaitanya that day. We made so many people chant. I onda su završili dani i otišli su na raport kod gospodina Čejtanje i prijavili evo toliko i toliko ljudi smo. Ali postoji još dvojica braće, nismo bili uspješni, moramo se vratiti sutra. So that was Nityananda's focus. Let's get those guys to Jena. If they Jena Hare Krishna, the glories of Lord Chaitanya will spread throughout the three worlds. 
I to je bio fokus gospodina Nityananda. Ako ovu dvojicu navedemo da mantramo Hare Krishna, slave gospodina Četanje, proširit će se kroz sva tri svijeta. So they came again. I došli su opet. From a distance. Iz daljine. Hey, you two brothers. Hey, dvojico braće. You guys are back. Opet ste se vratili. And they got angry. Naljutili su se. He picked up a broken pot. Mada je uzeo razbijenu posudu. Threw it with all his might. Bacio svom snagom i pogodio je gospodina Nityananda u glavu i Nityananda je počeo krvariti. Mještani su to vidjeli i potrčali su da bi rekli gospodine Čitanji. Gospodin Čitanji je došao i vidio je cijelu scenu i postao je poput Yamarađa. Možda kao na Simhadev. Bio je ljud. Pozvao je svoju čakru. Čakra se pojavila na njegovoj ruci. I htio je iskoristiti na ovim nitkovima. Ali Džagaj je potrčao i bacio se pred stopala gospodina. I rekao je, nisam ja, on je. Molim te, oprosti mi. I on je bio toliko ponezan. Kad si u nevolji i nema izlaza. I na neki način se kao predao. I on je bio toliko ponezan. I gospodin Četanja je bio malo umiren. Ali onda se i Madaj promenio jer je vidio da je gospodin Četanja dao milost njegovom bratu. I obojica su pala gospodinu Četanji do stopala i on je bio u tom raspoloženju gospodina Narsimhadeva. Gospodin Nityananda je isto bio tamo. I gospodin Četanji je rekao ako vam gospodin Nityananda oprosti i ja vam opraštam. I just like a mother can never hold any negativity to her own child who does the wrong thing maybe doesn't even maybe even hits the mother the mother will always keep her love and her care and her protection towards the child she will not change because that's her child i kao što majka ne može zadržati nikakvu ne, negativnost uh, prema djetetu čak i ako dijete napravi nešto glupo čak i ako ju dijete udari ona će mu uvijek oprostiti, jer to je njeno dijete. Na isti način gospodin Nityananda je oprostio Madaju i Džagaju. Nije im samo oprostio, nego ih je blagoslovio devocijom prema Krišnju. I nakon što to je učinio, sve sinne activities that they had committed, all the reactions, everything went into the body of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I čim se to dogodilo, sve grešne reakcije su prešle na tijelo gospodina Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. His body is beautiful gold, it's gold, he's called Goranga. I njegovo tijelo je prekrasno zlatno, zato se zove Goranga. But when all those sinful activities came, his whole body became ali kad su došli svi ti grijesi, njegovo tijelo je postalo crno. I Advaita je bio tamo i rekao, hej, Četanja, izgledaš kao Krišna. I gospodin Četanja je dao izjavu. I gospodin Četanja je dao izjavu. I gospodin Četanja je dao izjavu. All of these sinful activities in Jagai and Marai will be transferred to that person. Rekao je, kogod uvrijedi baktu, sve te grešne reakcije od Jagaja i Madaja bit će prenesene na tu osobu. 
Because Mahaprabhu has said that his mission is, 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 there's different ways to understand his mission, but he gave his mission in three parts, and then he gave it in two parts. In the two parts, he said, chant the holy names, develop attraction, attachment, and chant, and become a dosha darshi. Uh, gospodin Četanja, njegova misija se može opisati na tri načina, ali i na dva načina. Ako opisujemo na dva načina, prvo je da mantramo sve to ime i razvijemo ukus, odnosno privlačnost prema tome i da postanemo doša daršini. Darši means to see, a dosha means no faults. One who does not see the faults of others. A doša znači, uh, uh, daršini znači koji vidi, a a doša je ne greška, znači onaj ko ne vidi greške u drugima. And he said, anyone who chants the holy name and never finds faults with others will get my full mercy. I uh, rekao je, onaj tko mantra sve to ime i nikad ne vidi greške u drugima, dobit će moju potpunu milost. And then he declared that these two brothers, Jagai and Madari, you should not see them the way they were. They are now purified from all their sinful activities. They have taken shelter in the association of devotees. I rekao je, ovu dvojicu braće Džagaja i Madaja više ne trebate gledati onakvima kakvi su bili. Oni su uzeli utočište mene i oni su sada pročišćeni u društvu Bhakta. That's the power of Mahaprabhu. To je moć Mahaprabhuva. Of course, we know he has that power. He, re- he can relieve anyone's reactions to sinful activity if one surrenders to them in devotional service. To je on ima tu moć i može svakome odpustiti grijehe, odnosno anulirati ako mu se neko preda. And these two brothers, they actually started to associate with Lord Chaitanya's devotees and they became regular devotees. I ta, dva, ta dvojica braće počeli su se družiti sa baktama gospodina Čejtanja i postali su bakta. And how much they changed. It's, a, it's amazing to see how their consciousness can change. Nevjerojatno je bilo vidjeti koliko su se promijenili, koliko se svjesnost može promijeniti. Before they were so sinful, so cruel, so vicious, and now they were Gentle Bhaktas. Prije su bili toliko opaki, griješni, okrutni, a sada su bili bhakte koji mantraju. Should I tell you one of their sinful activities? Trebam li vam ispričati o jednoj njihovoj griješnoj aktivnosti? You want to hear how sinful they were? There's one example that describes what they did. Želite li čuti koliko su bili grešni? Ima jedan primjer koji to opisuje. Vi ste svi pristojni, fini ljudi, možda vam se neće sviđat. Da ispričam? Da, da, da. So, one day, it was this elderly man, he was blind. Dakle, jednog dana stari gospodin koji je bio slijep imao je mladu kćer i on je njega bi kćer vodila od vrata do vrata i on bi tamo prosio, jel, oni bi mu dali nešto hrane i malo novca i nije imao drug izbora jer je bio slijep. Jagaya mother came, they saw what was happening, they came, they beat up the old man, they took his money, money and they raped the girl. <laughs> I Jagaya mother su došli, vidli, vidjeli su što se događa, prebili su ga, uzeli su mu novce i silovali su mu kćer. That's how sinful they were. Horrible. Toliko su bili grešni, strašno, okrutno. But now all of their sinful activities were gone. Ali sada su nestale sve njihove grešne aktivnosti. But they were not happy. Ali nisu bili sretni. Because they remembered how bad they used to be and they felt so sorry for what they had done. Jer su se sjetili kak, kakvi su bili prije i bilo im je jako jako žao. So mother used to come to Lord Nityananda and say What can I do to serve you? I, Give me some service. 
Madej bi dolazio do gospodina Nityanande i pitao ga, molim te što mogu učiniti za tebe, daj mi neku službu. And he was always crying. I uvijek je plakao. Remembering how, how, how much he hurt Lord Nityananda, he would cry. Sjećajući se kako je ozljedio gospodina Nityananda. would rub his head and said, you know, I give you some service. I Nityananda bi ga pogladio po glavi i rekao je, daću ti neku službu. You go near the Ganga. Idi blizu Gange. And you make a gat, a bathing gat. I napravi gat za kupanje. So when people come, they can bathe in your gat before they go into the Ganga. Da ljudi kad dođu do, do Gange, prvo se okupaju u tvojom gatu, a onda u Gange. So immediately he took his, you know, tools and start digging a gat. I tako je on odmah uzeo alat i počeo iskopavati taj gat. And people would come. I ljudi bi došli. Oh, there's that mother, he's such a rascal. Tamo je taj mada i on je takav nitkov. They would pick up a stone. Oni bi uzeli kamen. Throw it at him. I bacili na njega. They would hit him. I pogodili bi ga. He would pick up the stone. On bi uzeo kamen. Go back to the person and say, throw it again. <laughs> I donio ga osobi i rekao im, bacite opet. That's how much he changed. <laughs> Toliko se promijenio. Yeah, completely, completely free from all and sorry for all of his sins. Potpuno se promijenio i bilo mu je žao za sve grijehe. And Lord Chaitanya said you should not see them the way they were, you should see them the way they are now. I gospodin Chaitanya je rekao, ne biste ih trebali vidjeti kakvi su bili, nego kakvi su sada. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati makes a nice statement about this particular pastime. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati daje lijepu izjavu u ovoj lili, zabavi. He speaks in the negative. On govori u negativnom smislu. He says this incident of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda showing mercy of Jagai Mati is not simply a story from the scriptures. Uh, on kaže ovaj uh, incident koji uh, sa Jagai Mimadajem nije jednostavno jedna priča iz svetih spisa. It's not just another part of the history of Vaishnav culture. To nije dio povijesti vaishnavske kulture. What is it? Što je to? It's the feature of Lord Chaitanya's mercy that's going on today. <laughs> to je odlika uh, milosti gospodina Chaitanya koja se koja je još aktualna danas. Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda are still personally present. They're using their devotees to go everywhere to bring their mercy and uplift the conditioned souls who are suffering in this material world. <laughs> gospodin Chaitanya i gospodin Nityananda su još osobno prisutni i koriste svoje bakte kako bi išli svuda i uzdigli ljude koji pate u ovom materijalnom svijetu. Lord Chaitanya's mindset was I want to reach everybody. Gospodin Chaitanya je u umu odlučio ja želim dobriti do svih. So Nityananda, he was an abadut. Nityananda, on je avaduta. He did whatever he want, whatever he wanted. <laughs> on je radio što god hoće, kad god hoće. But he was always fully absorbed in loving devotion to the Supreme Lord. Ali je uvijek potpuno absorbiran u uh, ljubavnoj devociji prema gospodinu. No material attachments. On nema materijalnih vezanosti. Nikakvih materijalnih ideja. Lord Chaitanya told him, get married. Gospodin Chaitanya mu je rekao, oženi se. Why? Zašto? Because I want you to preach to the grihastas. <laughs> jer, želim da pro, jer želim da propovjedaš grihastama. If you preach to the, if you are in a position of a grihasta, when you preach to the grihasta, they can understand that actually we can become like you. <laughs> Ako si grihasta i propovjedaš njima, oni će moći razumjeti i htjeti postati poput tebe. And of course, Lord Nityananda got married. Gospodin Nityananda se... He married Janavi Devi and, and her sister. He married both sisters, Ganga Devi and Janavi Devi. And he also had one son called Bir Bhadra Chandra, who was an incarnation of Shri Rodakshtai Vishnu. <laughs> Uh, on je oženio Janavu Devi i Ganga Devi, dvije sestre, I imao je sina koji se zvao Vira Badra, uh, Vira Badra i uh, on je bio inkarnacija Širodakšaj Višnjava. Širodakšaj Višnjava. 
A, Lord Chaitanya took sannyas. <laughs> A goj, gospodin Chaitanya je uzeo sannyas. Why did he take sannyas? Zašto je uzeo sannyas? Because at that time there were many, many Mayavadi sannyasis. Jer je tada bilo jako puno Mayavadi sannyasija. In fact, the sannyasis at that time were mostly all Mayavadi sannyasis. Zapravo tada su sanyasi skoro svi bili Mayavadi sanyasi. So sanyas in the Mayapadi Sampradaya. <laughs> I on je uzeo sanyas u Mayavadi Sampradaji. And he preached to the Mayavadis. <laughs> I propovjedao je Mayavadi. And how did he preach to the Mayavadis? A kako je propovjedao Mayavadima? He appeared in the assembly of Prakasananda Saraswati in Banaris. Uh, pojavio se na skupu Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati u Benaresu. He, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati was a Mayavadi, he had 60,000 followers. Bhakti, 60, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati je bio Mayavadi koji je imao 60 tisuća sljedbenika. Lord Chaitanya came into their assembly. Gospodin Chaitanya je došao na njihov skup. And he sat right by the door. I sjeo je kraj vrata. When people come in, there's a place where you wash your feet and then you come in. He sat right in that place where everybody washes their feet. On je sjeo točno tamo gdje su svi prali noge prije nego što su uđeni na skup. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati je to vidio. Prakasananda Saraswati. He saw. He said, oh, you are a Mayabadi sannyasi. I vidio je, o, oh, ti si Mayavadi sanyasi. Why do you associate with all these sentimental people, just singing and dancing in the street? Why don't you study Vedanta? <laughs> Zašto se družiš s ovim sentimentalistima koji pjevaju i plešu na ulici? Zašto ne proučavaš Vedantu? Duty of a sanyasi is to read the scriptures, know the scriptures, preach the scriptures, Vedanta is the highest. Study the scriptures. Why are you hanging around with these sentimental people and just singing and dancing? Sanyasi treba čitati spise, znati spise. Spisi su najvažniji od svega. Vedanta je vrh svega. Zašto se družiš s tim sentimentalistima? Lord Chaitanya said, my spiritual master said I was a fool. Gospodin Chaitanya je rekao, moj duhovni učitelj je rekao da sam ja budala. You're not qualified to study Vedanta. Nisi kvalificiran da studiraš Vedantu. Samo mantra je Hare Krishna. So I'm simply following my spiritual master. He told me just chant Hare Krishna. Ja slijedim svog duhovnog učitelja. On mi je rekao jednostavno mantra je Hare Krishna. And then he explained the glories of chanting the holy name. I tada je objasnio slave pjevanja svetog imena. And the Mayavari sannyasis headed by Prakrasananda became very attentive what he was saying. I Majava de Sanyasi, uključujući Prakašanandu, su mje, s pozornošću slušali. So Jer Mahaprabhu je bio toliko ponizan. On je zauzeo najniži položaj. He knew he reach them any other way. Jer znao je da im ne može dopreti do njih ni na koji drugi način. By his Oni su bili privučeni njegovom poniznošću. Oni su bili privučeni njegovom poniznošću. Ali također i njegovim prekrasnim zlatnim oblikom. Mahaprabhu was so beautiful. <laughs> Mahaprabhu je bio prekrasan. His name was Gora Sundar. On je bio Gora Sundar. Beautiful golden color which is so attractive. Prekrasne zlatne boje koja je toliko privlačna. People would just see him. Ljudi bi ga samo vidjeli and become happy. I postali sretni. And become attracted to him. I postali privučeni njime. He wouldn't even speak to them just by seeing him. Čak im ne bi ništa ni rekao. So Jednostavno so vidjeti ga. Bodies were enchanted. I tako su Maja Vadi i mantrali. He got their attention. Uh, pardon, oni su bili očarani. And when he got their attention, he started to speak the glories of the holy name. Prevukao je njihovu pažnju i počeo pričati o slavama svetog imena. And he quoted scripture. I citirao je šastre. To support his arguments. Kako bi podupro svoje argumente. And for hours they listened. I satima bi oni slušali. At the end. Na kraju. They became Vaishnavas. Svi su pošta, postali Vaishnave. He, cha- he transformed, changed, converted 60,000 Mayavadis to Vaishnavas. <laughs> Preobratio je 60 tisuća Mayavadija u Vaishnave. 
And he did that. He took sannyas in order to reach these persons. I zato je uzeo sanyas kako bi dobro do tih osoba. So Mahaprabhu's mission is to try to reach everybody, whatever their background is, whatever their activity is, whatever their status in society is. He would like, he would always try to figure out how to inject the chanting of the holy name. Mahaprabhuva va misija je da dopre do svih bez obzira na društveni položaj ili bilo što drugo uvijek bi gledao kako da im ubrizga svjesnost Krišna. Because the scriptures say that the chanting of the holy name is the means for self-realization in this age. Jer spisi kažu da je pjevanje svetog imena način samospoznaje za ovo doba. This is a very bad age. Ovo je jako loše doba. And materially it is getting Materijalno gledano postaje još gore. Prabhupada used to say, finish your life in this time, age, go back to Godhead, don't stay around, because Kali Yuga is going to get worse and worse and worse. <laughs> Prabhupada bi govorio, završite ovaj proces svjesnosti Krišne još u ovom životu i vratite se natrag uči Bogu, jer ova Kali Yuga će postati gora, gora i gora. And the scriptures confirm this many times. <laughs> I spisi to potvrđuju na mnogo mjesta. U ovom domu Kali postoji toliko mnogo problema. I ljudi stvaraju nove probleme svaki dan. This problem, social problem, individual problem, national problem, international problem, personal problem, this problem, that problem, everything is just like, where do you go? It's just problems. Osobni problemi. Age of Kali. Osobni problemi, društveni problemi, nacionalni, internacionalni, sve samo problemi. Ko ćeš onda? Mahaprabhu je došao s lijekom. Chant with your mind, chant with all your feelings, make your life dedicated to the glories of chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamad. Then you will understand what is the glory of this holy name. Gospodin Četanja je rekao da trebamo jednostavno mantrati, ali nije dovoljno jednostavno mantrati, nego treba mantrati sa srcem, dati se u to i onda ćemo razumjeti što je to slava svetog imena. I Mahaprabhu je to demonstrirao. Nakon što je uzeo sanjas, otišao je u Jagannath Puri. I pitao je Nityanandu neka ostane u Navadvipu, a on je otišao u Jagannath Puri. Ali Nityananda nije mogao podnijeti odvojenost od gospodina Nityanande. I jednom je došao kad su Bhakti imali Rata Jatra ceremoniju samo kako bi bio s gospodinom Četanjom. Ta dva brata su nerazdvojni. Nemojte ih probati razdvajati. Nityananda came and he was happy. He saw Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu was happy and they started to talk and just exchange loving feelings among themselves. Nityananda je bio sretan jer je vidio Mahaprabhu i Mahaprabhu je bio sretan i onda su počeli razgovarati i razminjivati ljubavne osjećaje. At one point Lord Chaitanya said to Nityananda, Hey Nitai, I'm here in Jagannath Puri. I'm preaching. Who's preaching in Navadvip? You go back. U jednom momentu gospodin Četanja je rekao Nityanandi, ja sam ovdje u Jagannath Puriju i ti si ovdje, a ko onda propovjeda u Navadvipu? Uzmi svoje bakte i idite tamo. Lord Nityanandi's heart was wanting to be with Lord Četanja, but he understood this is the mission where we have come. So he accepted that instruction on his head. 
He took all of his followers, because Lord Nityananda is the chief among the Kaharan Balars. He is Balaram. Prajendra Nandalaye, Sachi Sutta Hoylo Singh, Balaram Hoylo Nitai. I on je prihvatio tu instrukciju na svoju glavu, iako je njegovo srce htjelo ostati s gospodinom Četanjom, iskupio je sve svoje sljedbenike, on je glavni dječak pastir Balaram. And so, with his gopals, he started to get towards Navadvit. I sa svojim pastirima je krenuo natrag za Navadvit. And he began Kirtan. I započeo je Kirtan. And they were chanting and dancing and dancing and chanting and chanting and dancing and dancing and dancing and chanting and chanting and dancing and chanting and dancing and dancing and more chanting. I onda su pjevali, plesali, pjevali, plesali, pjevali, plesali. And they got lost. I izgubili su se. Where are we? Gdje smo? I don't know. Which way to not believe? Ne znam. Gdje je Navadvit? Ne znam. Let's ask somebody. Ajmo pitat nekog. So they asked one villager. Pitali su jednog seljena. Oh, hi, hi, hi! The road is that way. Six miles. Go that way and follow the road to Navadvit. I onda im je seljanin rekao, idite u ovom smjeru šest, šest, šest milja i doći ćete na cestu i onda slijedite cestu prema Navadvipu. Uh, so they took the instructions and they were chanting and dancing and dancing and chanting and heading and then in the right way they think they were going but they weren't. And chanting and dancing and dancing and chanting and chanting and more dancing. And again after some time, we're lost. <laughs> I tako su oni krenuli putem i opet su pjevali, plesali, pjevali, plesali i mislili su da znaju kod idu, ali su onda shvatili, a opet smo se izgubili. Let's ask somebody. Ajmo pitat nekog. Oh, hi, 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 hi. That way, 20 miles, follow the Ganga. Ah, Ganga leads to Navadri. I onda su rekli, idite 20 milja u ovom smjeru dok ne dođete do Gangi i onda Ganga, po Gangi do Navadvipa. I onda su tako opet pjevali, plesali i išli uz Gangu i došli na uh, predgrađe uh, Navadvipa i do Ragave Pandida. And Raghavan Pandit came out with a beautiful garland and he put it on Lord Chaitanya, uh, Lord Nityananda. I on je iza, Raghavan Pandit je izašao iz kuće s e, preljepim garlandom i dao ga Nityanandi Prabhu. And Lord Nityananda says, make me a garland of Kadamba flowers. A gospodin Nityananda mu je rekao, napravi mi garland od Kadamba cvijeća. Nitai, this is not the season for Kadamba flowers. Nitai, alo, sad nije u sezoni Kadamba cvijeće. Come in your backyard and see what you can find. <laughs> Idi u vrt i reci mi šta ćeš naći. So he went in his backyard and on the lime tree there was gadamba flowers. <laughs> uh, I on je otišao u vrt i na drvetu yeah. li, limete raslo je cvije, cvijeće kadambe. He was shocked. We picked the flowers, made a nice garland, gave it to Lord Nityananda. Then everybody started to smell damanaka flowers. Uh, i on je ubrao to cvijeće, napravio lje, lijepi garland i dao ga gospodinu Nityanandi, ali svi su onda počeli mi, mirisati cvijeće. Cvijeće damanaka koje raste samo u Jagannat Puriju. A gospodin Četanja uvijek nosi garland od damanaka cvijeća. So, i onda bi bakte mislili, pa je li gospodin Četanja ovdje? But only two or three people could see him. <laughs> I on je bio, ali samo dvoje, troje ljudi ga je moglo vidjet. I on je došao u svojem nemanifestiranom obliku, jer je rečeno da kad god gospodin Nityananda radi kirtan, gospodin Čejtanja isto dolazi. I tad su opet počeli pjevati i plesati. I Vrindavan Das Thakur opisuje taj kirtan. I trajao je tri mjeseca. Tri mjeseca. Niko nije stao. Nobody ate. Niko nije jeo. No need for anything. Nije bilo potrebe za ničim. Chanting and dancing. Samo pjevanje i plesanje. Three months. Tri mjeseca. And it was mad. 
To je bilo ludo. Totally mad. Totalno ludo. There's different levels of happiness. Postoje različite razine sreće. The first level before you can be happy is you have to be peaceful. Prva razina prije nego što možeš biti sretan je moraš biti miran. Nema sreće bez mira. Ako ste mirni, možete biti sretni. A ako ste sretni, možete biti radosni. A ako ste radosni, možete biti u blaženstvu. A ako ste u blaženstvu, možete biti ekstatični. A ako ste ekstatični, možete poludjeti. To je najviša razina sreće. Duhovno ludilo. I to su poučavali i demonstrirali gospodin Četanja i gospodin Nityananda. So the kirtan was going on. Tako je trajao taj kirtan. And it was described that the devotees were picking trees out of the ground, uprooting them and dancing with the trees. I opisano je da su bakte čupali drveće iz zemlje i plesali s tim drvećem. And the devotees were walking up the side of the tree, walking out to the branches, going to the very ends of the branches on the little twigs and dancing. I opisano je da su oni hodali, znači ne penjali se, nego hodali e, uz drvo do sitnih grančica i onda bi na sitnim grančicama plesali. I bacali bi se s drveća. I onda bi jedan bakta rekao, ja sam majmonski vojnik Angada. Iskočio. So was completely mad. Went on for three months. <laughs> Bilo je totalno ludo i trajalo je tri mjeseca. And then some of the people in the village, they saw what was happening. They, they also got attracted, came near. And as soon as they come into that energy, everything changed. They also started to chant and dance. I ljudi yeah. iz sela su vidjeli što se događa i postali privučeni. I čim bi se približili, ta energija bi ih jednostavno preuzela i oni bi isto počeli pjevati plesati. <laughs> Kaže se, neka mala djeca iz sela su plesala jedan mjesec. And they were trees up too. I oni su također čupali drveće. Because it says in the scriptures that when you're chanting the holy names of the Lord, you can synchronize all stipulated energies from all places within creation. Jer je rečeno u šastrama da kada mantraš sve to ime, možeš sinkronizirati sve energije koje postoje u kreaciji. When you're absorbed in the holy name, you're pulling all the energies everywhere into you because Krishna is the source of all energies, he's the controller of all energies. The holy name is non-different than Krishna. So one who is absorbed in chanting becomes the actually the center of the universe. Kada osoba izgovara sve to ime, kad mantra, ona uvlači u sebe sve energije, jer gospodin je izvor svih energija i on je nerazličito od sve tog imena i zato osoba koja mantra zapravo postaje centar svemira. One of our Rathiatras in London jedna od naših rata jatri u Londonu. It's a big rathi yatri. We usually have two kirtan parties and it's maybe about a mile long the whole procession. To je velika rata jatra. Obično imamo dvije skupine pjevača i svirača, jel? I otprilike procesija cijela je duga jednu milju. So one year, one devotee was chanting really enthusiastically. Jedne godine je jedan bakta je baš entuzijastično pjevao. And one lady, she was just an onlooker from the side. She came running and ran right up to the kirtan ear. She said, what are you singing? I can't stop crying. What is that you're singing? 
I e, došla je jedna promatračica, za, zatrčala se prema njemu i pitala ga što ti to pjevaš, ja ne mogu prestati plakati, što je to? No understanding of anything, but it's, it's changing her whole mood. She's feeling so happy, her emotions, she's crying, she's feeling, wow, what is this? This must be something wonderful. Ona nije imala niko, nikakvo razumijevanje što se događa, ali je u potpunosti promijenilo njene emocije. Ona je plakala od sreće i bila je zadivljena. To je milost gospodina Četanja. On je tako olakšao ovaj proces. Tako dostupan svima. I ako to ozbiljno shvatimo, to može promijeniti cijeli svijet. I to je gospodin Čejtanja došao napraviti, postaviti pozornicu za program i sada nastavlja program kroz svoje, kroz svoje bakte, a program je taj da će se sve to ime pjevati u svakom gradu i selu. Kad je pravopad bio u Americi, došao je u templ u Atlanti, u Georgiji. In that temple, the, the main are I tamo su glavna božanstva Gornji Taj. Rada Krišna su također na oltaru, ali na oltaru sa strane manjem, na glavnom oltaru su mjedeni Gornji Taj veliki. So the devotees came from all over the US to see Prabhupada. I bakte su došli iz cijelih e, e, s, a, a, Sjedinjenih američkih država da bi vidjeli pravopada. Pravopad je sjeo And he started to speak. i počeo pričati. These two lords, Lord Zaytani and Lord Nityananda, they are so merciful. I rekao je, ova dva gospodina, gospodin Četanja i Nityananda, oni su toliko milostivi. There is no more mercy than what they are giving. Ne postoji veća milost od one koju oni daju. Propad je rekao par riječi i odjednom je ošutio. Zatvorio je oči i cijeli hram je potpuno ošutio. I propad je plakao. Jedna minuta se činila ko godina. Vrijeme je totalno usporilo. I svi su samo gledali Prabhupada. I kad je Prabhupada izašao iz te ekstaze, rekao je, ova braća, oni su tako milostivi, tako milostivi. Nije mogo reći ništa. Gušila ga je ljubav. And he said, just chant. <laughs> I rekao je, jednostavno mantrajte. Nije više mogao pričati. Age of Kali, where people are most unqualified. Njegovo srce je jednostavno bilo uronjeno u, u meditaciju, u razmišljanje o tome koliko su oni samilosni i milostivi. Oni su sam svevišnji gospodin koji je otvorio vrata duhovnog svijeta ljudima ovog doba koji su najnekvalificiraniji. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was here, he traveled throughout the whole Indian subcontinent doing kirtan and practically making everyone in India at that time Krishna conscious. Kad je gospodin Chaitanya bio na ovom planetu, on je putovao po cijeloj Indiji i činio sve koji su bili u Indiji svjesnima Krishna. He spread Krishna consciousness everywhere. Proširio je svjesnost Krishna in India. Svuda. U Indiji. 
And when Prabhupada was here, the devotees were talking, and Prabhupada was talking about Mahaprabhu, and then the devotees asked him, well, Mahaprabhu was here, and he made all of India practically Krishna conscious. Why didn't he just take it around the world? <laughs> I kad je Prabhupada pričao to svojim učenicima, oni su ga pitali, pa ako je on učinio cijelu Indiju svjesno Krišne, pa zašto nije jednostavno išao i dalje, diljem cijelog svijeta? Said, A Prabhupada je rekao, to je ostavio meni. I Prabhupada je učinio jako puno. Mi, mi svi sjedimo ovdje zbog Prabhupada, nema drugog razloga. I sa 70 godina on je posvetio 11 godina svog života, svaki moment jednostavno za Uh, širenje svjesnosti Krišne. Prabhupada was empowered by the Lord. <laughs> Prabhupada je opunovočio gospodin. Prabhupada knew who he was. <laughs> On je znao ko je. He knew he came for a mission. Znao je da je došao s misijom. And even when he first began his mission in, in 26 Second Avenue in New York, he actually knew he had come to spread Krishna consciousness everywhere. Čak kad je tek počinjao u, na, u, New, u New Yorku na broju 26 u drugoj aveniji, on je znao da je došao proširiti svjesnost Krišna. Ima jedna lijepa priča. Prabhupad je sjedio u Central Parku u New Yorku na klupi, jednostavno mantrajući. One Iranian uh, i jedan iranski strojovođa je sjeo kraj Prabhupada i mislio je ovaj gospodin izgleda neobično. I pitao ga je ko ste vi, zašto ste tako obučeni? Said, I have come from India on my, the instructions of my spiritual master to bring the message of uh, eternal religious principles to the Western world. <laughs> ja sam došao iz Indije i nosim poruku svog duhovnog učitelja koji me zadužio da prenesem vječne religiozne principe zapadnom svijetu. And I have 108 temples, but they're separated by time. I imam 108 hramova, ali od njih me dijeli vrijeme. So this cab driver, this train driver was thinking, he's a nice gentleman, he seems to be very intelligent, but he's speaking crazy. What is this, 108 temples separated by time? Ali i onda je taj iranac mislio, pa ovaj gospodin je fin, inteligentan, ali priča gluposti. Što je to? 108 hramova dijeli nas vrijeme. Prabhupad je znao što će učiniti i da ga je Krišna poslao da to učini. Zanimljivo je. Who was in jail. <laughs> Dobio sam pismo 95.6. od jedne osobe u zatvoru. He said I was a devotee in the temple in Seattle, Washington, and that same cab driver, same train driver, he was now an old man. He came into the temple. He walked right up to Prabhupada's deity and started to speak in a very emotional way. <laughs> I uh, rekao je ja sam bio bakta u Sjetlu u templu i doši, došao je taj isti ranac, strojovođa, uh, u hram i došao do Murtija, do oblika Šla Prabhupada, jel? I uh, počeo mu se obraćati veoma emotivno. And he was saying, he said he would do it, I didn't think he would do it, he did it, he did it. <laughs> I rekao je, pa on je rekao da će to učiniti, ali ja sam mislio da neće, ali on je to učinio, on je to učinio. Yes. He he <laughs> I 
I Krišna je izaranžiral, da taj strojovodja vidi. Rekao ti je, da će imati 108 hramova, sad vidiš. So, Prabhupada spread Krišna consciousness quite extensively. Prabhupada je poprilično široko raširio svjesnost Krišna. But his mission is not done yet. Ali njegova misija još nije završena. He left it up to us to finish. Ostavio je na nama da završimo. So, that's the legacy of becoming a devotee, is that we have that responsibility to take what Prabhupada and Lord Chaitanya has given and spread it further. To je ostavština koju prihvaćamo kad postanemo bhakta, da uzmemo to što je Prabhupada ostavio i raširimo. And Prabhupada was only one person, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was only one person you might say, but we are many, so how much can we do? We can do a lot. <laughs> Prabhupada je bio samo jedna osoba. Čak bismo mogli reći da je gospodin Čaitanja u neku ruku bio jedna osoba, ali nas je mnogo. Koliko mi možemo napraviti? Sen Prabhupada said, if you take, if you take this mission of seriously, just like, just recently I just heard something the other night. We were talking about the departure of Kadamba Kanada Maharaj. Neki dan smo pričali o odlasku Kadamba Kanana Maharaja. And Maharaj said something just before he left. And Maharaj je rekao nešto tik prije nego što je odišao. It was really powerful. <laughs> Bilo je jako močno. Only three words. Samo tri riječi. Mission above all. Misija iznad svega. The mission of Lord Chaitanya above everything. And just right after that, it's described by the devotees who were there. He left. <laughs> I bhakti su opisali e, misija gospodina Četanje iznad svega i nakon toga je otišao. So we can learn also that we should live in such a way that we live to bring Krishna consciousness into the lives of others. Because this is the need. There is no other need in the world. Everything is there. I mi trebamo živjeti na takav način da donesemo drugima svjesnost Krišne. Nema drugih potreba. Sve people, drugo je već tu prisutno. People are lost, people are suffering. Why? Because of that one thing they don't understand. What is the purpose of life? <laughs> Ali ljudi su iskupljeni i ljudi pate zbog jedne stvari, jer ne razumiju koja je svrha života. There is enough money, there is enough land, there is enough of everything. But still people are not happy. Why? Because they're not connected to the spiritual process. I ima dovoljno novca i dovoljno zemlje i dovoljno svega, ali ljudi i dalje pate. Zašto? Jer nisu povezani s duhovnim procesom. So that's why Mahaprabhu has come, and that's why he's empowered his devotees is to do the same thing. Do he said, do what I'm doing, spread Krishna consciousness. I zato je Mahaprabhu došao i opunomoćio svoje bhakte i rekao im je, činite što ja činim, širite svjesnost Krišne. When Mahaprabhu was traveling through South India, he came to one place called Kumbhushetra. Kad je Mahaprabhu putovao po Južnoj Indiji, došao je na jedno mjesto koje se zvalo Kumbhakšetra. One Brahman, his name was the Kumbha Brahma, he was known, and he was very devotional. He invited Mahaprabhu, please, while you're in Kormošeđu, stay in my place, stay in my home. I tamo je bio jedan bramana koji je pozvao gospodina Četanju, molim te, dok si na ovoj kurmak šetri, ostani, uh, odsjedni u mom domu. And the Lord was pleased and he agreed to stay. Gospodin je bio zadovoljan i prihvatio. And for four days, the whole, the whole family served Mahaprabhu so nicely. I četiri dana cijela njegova obitelj od Brahmane je služila Mahaprabhu. They took all care of all of his needs and the Lord was very pleased by their service and he also gave them Krishna conscious. I oni su se brinuli za sve njegove potrebe, on je bio jako zadovoljan i dao im je svjesnost Krišne. Then it was time for Mahaprabhu to continue his journey. I bilo je vrijeme da Mahaprabhu ide dalje. So he told him I have to leave and then he left. <laughs> I rekao je moram ići i otišao. And he's walking. I on tako hoda. The Lord turns around. I on se okrene. The Kurma Brahma is following him. A Kurma Brahma ga slijedi. The Lord stops. Gospodin stane. Where are you going? Kud ideš? I'm going with you. Pa idem s tobom. I can't not leave your association. Ne mogu napustiti tvoje društvo. Lord says you can't do that. You have your family, you have your responsibility. 
Ali ne možeš, imaš svoju obitelj, imaš odgovornost. So many words he rejected that. I want to come with you. I on je e, e, na široko i na, na dugačko sve to odbacio i rekao, ja hoću ići s tobom. A gospodin je rekao, uvijek možeš imati moje društvo, možeš raditi dvije stvari. Koga god vidiš, reci mu o Krišni. Koga god sretneš, nauči ga da pjeva Hare Krišna. I mi komand, bi guru, save the land. Po mojoj komandi, budi guru i spasi zemlju. Ako to napraviš, nikad nećeš izgubiti moje društvo. I gospodin Četanja je uvijek govorio, ne morate ništa dodavati. So these programs are so important. I zato su ovi programi toliko važni, čak i druge vrste programa, jer svi dobivaju dobrobit. Čak i oni koji nisu ovdje. The glorification of the Lord is watering the root of the tree and that tree is connected to everything. The branches, the leaves, the twigs, everything connected with the tree gets the benefit of the watering process. So when we have kirtan, when we come together as devotees and speak about Krishna, glorify Krishna, spread Krishna consciousness by giving prasadam, this is the, one of the best ways to inspire the world towards Krishna consciousness. And going out in the streets, dis- distributing books and thinking of ways by which we can reach these conditioned souls. And you're guaranteed if you do that, practically guaranteed, talk to a Deham Purna Jan Mani Nineteen Mameti Suj. Krishna will recognize that all oh, that devotee is trying to give others my mercy. Therefore I should give him that mercy. Yeah. Yet, uh, I'm sorry about that. Z, z, uh, pjevanjem svetog imena mi zaljevamo uh, korijen drveta i drvo sve grančice i svi listići dobivaju, uh, dobivaju dobrobit i zato trebamo ići van i dijeliti transcendentalnu literaturu i na kraju će svima dobrobit od toga. So this I just mentioned a few of the, I just, just touched a drop of a drop of a drop of Lord Chaitanya's activities. And the mercy that comes with hearing about these activities. Ja sam se sad samo dotaknuo jedne kapljice od kapljice od kapljice so aktivnosti gospodina Mahaprabhu. Because Lord Chaitanya is the gateway to Vrindavan. Proučavajte život gospodina Čaitanja jer on je ulaz vrata u Vrindavan. No one can approach the realm of Goloka Vrindavan Without the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, it's not possible in this age. <laughs> niko, niko ne može prići kraljevstvu Goloke Vrindavane bez milosti gospodina uh, Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu comes once in every thousand yuga cycles. Mahaprabhu dolazi jednom svakih tisuću yuga. That's four billion, three hundred and twenty million years. Jednom u četiri milijarde Ma- i tristo dvadeset milijuna godina. Mahaprabhu comes. Mahaprabhu dolazi jednom. We are here in that one in four billion three hundred and twenty million years. I mi smo u tom dobu koje se dešava jednom u četiri milijarde tristo dvadeset milijuna godina. And only when he appears. Samo kad se on pojavi. Can one approach the supreme? El, the highest destination of spiritual life, Krishna in Vrindavan. Osoba može prići najvišem cilju Krishni u Vrindavanu. All the other ages, the Yuga Dharma was to teach people the practice of Krishna consciousness to come to the level of Vaikuntha. A svi, sve druge Yuga Dharma, odnosno preporučeni procesi za specifična doba, su samo učili ljude da dođu do Vaikunte. Mahaprabhu is so merciful because he's carrying within him the mood of Srimati Radharani who is mercy personified. Mahaprabhu je toliko milosti vjeru sebi nosi milost Shrimati Radharani koja je otjelovljena milost. And so that combined form of Radha and Krishna are the 
a, the expression of the perfection of devotion in Sri Vrindavan <laughs> I taj zajednički oblik je Rade i Krišne je izraz savršenstva u Šri Vrindavan Damu. You see, you go to, you see many altars where there is Radha and Krishna and you see, sometimes you see a deity of Mahaprabhu next to it because he is none different than Radha and Krishna. Vidite puno puta na oltaru Radu i Krišnu i pokraj njih gospodina Mahaprabhu, a zbog toga što je on ne različit od Rade i Krišna, on je Rade i Krišna u jednom. So we study his life, hear about his pastimes and especially take his mission and spread it everywhere. Then uh, life becomes wonderful. Mi proučavamo njegov život, slušamo o njegovi, njegovim zabavama i e, prihvaćamo njegovu misiju i onda život postaje predivan. And don't worry, you'll get everything else done also too. A i sve ostalo ćete e, također obaviti, bez It'll brige. happen automatically. To će se automatski dogoditi. It says that one who serves the mission of the Lord, the Lord sends 30 assistants to help them in doing whatever else they have to do. Da, 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 of Lord Chaitanya's unlimited ocean of transcendental happiness and try to say something. I tako sam ja uzeo kapljicu od kapljice od kapljice od kapljice od kapljice uh, nektarskog oceana gospodina Chaitanya. Jaka dobro. He's good. Yeah. Not good, he's yaka. Very good. <laughs> There's nothing like a good translator. <laughs> and yeah, so if we have that inspiration, then it'll grow into something wonderful. Yeah, so Lord Chaitanya, of course, we celebrate his appearance once every year around this time, Gaur Purnima. It is the beginning of the new year for the Gaudi of Vaishnavas, but actually Lord Chaitanya has made his mission something that is part of our life and not something that we celebrate just once in a while. Mi slavimo pojavu gospodina Chaitanya Mahaprabhu otprilike svake godine u ovo vrijeme, ali nije bit samo da slavimo jednom godišnje, nego njegova misija traje stalno. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Dila Prabhupada Ki Do we have time for questions? Imamo li vremena za pitanja? Or comments? Ili komentare? Anyone? Yes. Uh, how we know that someone has got mercy of Lord Chaitanya? How do we know that someone has got mercy of Lord Chaitanya? He's happy. On je sretan. If you're not happy, then become happy. Ako nisi sretan, postani sretan. Get that mercy. Dobit ćeš milost. His mercy makes you happy. Njegova milost je čini sretnim. You look happy. <laughs> Ti izgledaš sretno. Okay, share it with others. Podijeli to s drugima. They say Mahaprabhu traveled around and he met one person and they, he inspired that person to chant Hare Krishna. And that person inspired someone else and who inspired someone else and who inspired someone else. So if, when you're happy, you can give happiness to others. Simply by speaking about the glories of the Lord or the mission of the Lord. 
Rečeno je da gospodin Četanja putovao okolo, inspirirao jednu osobu da prihvati svjesnost Krišne i onda je ta osoba inspirirala drugu osobu i tako dalje. I kad ste sretni, možete tu sreću dijeliti s drugima. Be happy. Budi sretan. That's why we say, chant and be happy. Zato se kaže, pjevaj mantra i budi sretan. What does that mean, chant and be happy? Što to znači, mantra i budi sretan? It's a pretty deep statement. To je duboka izjava. It requires explanation. Potrebno je objašnjenje. It means that if you're looking for happiness anywhere else, znači you, won't be, you won't find happiness in chanting. <laughs> znači da ako tražiš sreću negdje drugdje, onda nećeš naći sreću u mantranju. Make the chanting of the holy name your only source of happiness and you'll find neka, neka mantranje bude tvoj jedini izvor sreće i onda ćeš naći sreću. And then chant be happy. <laughs> I onda mantra yeah, budi sretan. That's the understanding. To je razumijevanje. su nam dali to Nemojte tražiti sreću nigdje drugdje. Nađite u svjesnosti Krišne. Zašto? Jer tamo se sreća nalazi. Ok, anyone else? Thank you. Madhu? Madhu? Chandra, Madhun Chandra, thank you. He's always happy. He looks like he's happy. He's always happy. Bar tako izgleda. Okay. I'm paid to be happy. Right. Mene plaćaju da budem sretan. I'm happy, but I don't get paid. Ja sam sretan, ali mene ne plaćaju. So I should, I should learn from you. Trebam učiti od tebe. To je zanimanje bolje. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Neko drugi? Thank you. Thank you, But there is people who don't accept our instruction about chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Yeah, there's many. What can I do? Well, you try different ways. Well, there's, there are people who are looking and there are people who are not interested. Even if you present it, they won't change. So, go for those people who are a little bit e eager to learn. And there's a lot of them out there. And especially now, as society is becoming more and more difficult, for people to live their normal lives, they're starting to th rethink their life and how to live it. This is happening all over the world now. So now, I mean, more than ever, people are more receptible to our message. So we can do it in many ways. We go out in Harinam, we go out in book distribution, and we can distribute prasadam, and we can find ways to bring people to our temples. Preaching is not limited to one way. Whatever you can feel comfortable with, something you're good at, connect with connect that and give it to others. E, ali neki ljudi ne prihvaćaju kad mi kažemo da mantra je Hare Krishna. Što možemo učiniti? Pa uvijek imate ljude koji su zainteresirani, imate one koji nisu zainteresirani, tražite one, one koji su otvoreni i koji žele promijeniti svoj život, jer normalan život u ovom društvu danas postaje sve teži i zato su ljudi otvoreni za našu poruku i ne morate propovjedati samo na jedan način, ima više načina propovjedanja, možete pjevati sve to ime, dijeliti knjige, dijeliti prasadam, što god. Ok? Yeah. It's, anyone, if you have that desire, Krishna will help you. Ako imate tu želju, Krishna će vam pomoći. But you have to make that desire strong. Ali mor, morate ojačati tu želju. Anyone else? <laughs> Neko drugi? Okay, so we stop here. Hoćemo li stati? Thank you. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki jai, Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Gaur Premanande Hari Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.